Welcome back everybody. It is so good to see you guys again. In today's video, we are gonna be going over how to cut a short shag on short length hair. Because we've done long, we just did medium length hair. That was last week. I'm actually gonna go ahead and link that video boop, right there. But in today's video, we're gonna be cutting off some hair and how to do a short shag. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Stick with me, it's coming right up, boom. All right guys, so let's just kind of take a little look here at this, all this hair here. We've got all this little length happening here. We've got some short length up through this top portion. We're basically gonna be cutting all of this off. Let's go ahead and straighten this up with this little mirror and with this camera boom, right here. So first things first guys, this is what we wanna do is we're gonna develop a center part. You know, if you have a side part, um, you know, that's fine as well. You're just gonna be cutting everything a little bit more on an angle. We're not talking about that today, but we are gonna be doing everything kind of like on a center part because everything is gonna be even from left to right. So you essentially can part it any direction, but for simple terms, let's just keep it in the center. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start over here on this right side and you can already kind of start to see that this this length already has kind of like this shag happening through here but we're going to be cutting it a lot shorter and this is actually more one length it does not have any shaggy layers throughout the top so we're going to start off by cutting this side first and then cutting off this side and how we do this is we actually want to start by cutting this section right around the hairline which is going to be this area right through here. Now, since we're gonna be cutting this short and we're gonna be cutting this off, we wanna cut things a lot shorter. So first things first, let's go in here and we are gonna cut some hair off. I'm gonna basically start this about eyebrow level right through here. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna be point cutting because point cutting is going to create a soft, just a very kind of softer line. We don't need it to necessarily be a super, super hard line. We're gonna be adding a lot of texture in here. You guys can see I'm just really just point cutting and I'm point cutting really kind of shallow. I'm not going in super, super deep. As you can see, we're just cutting this off just like this. Now we're gonna be moving over here to this side. Take a little bit of this hair right beyond that center portion, right through here. And we're gonna cut right to that point. You can see that point right there. We're gonna cut right to that point. So those pieces even out. It's actually gonna look like she's got this fringe happening right through there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that line going, point cutting, just like that. And we're cutting off a lot more hair over here on her left side because the previous haircut I did was cutting two different front layers. Now what we wanna check, okay, cross-checking. You know, sometimes, sometimes they're gonna be even. We wanna make sure that we're always grabbing from the same point, right? So take right like over the ears and hold that up and kind of see how even that is. Now we're gonna take from the temple. Let's see how even that is. Yep, absolutely. And then take from right above the ears. And we're gonna look and see. Yep, even. Okay, cool. So both sides are even. Now we can use those as a guide to finish this off. And so now let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do this side. And we take this all the way back behind the back of the ear, just like that. We're gonna push all this hair right out of the way, just like that. Take all this right behind the back of the ear. Okay, so we can now see our guide underneath here. I'm just going to kind of comb this forward. And you can kind of see that guide happening just like that underneath there. So let's go ahead and take this down. Start by point cutting, just like that. And now we're just basically going to be kind of following this all the way down.
All right guys, so I have just basically been taking these sections straight down and really just cutting everything. This would essentially look like a bowl haircut or a Dorothy Hamill, you know? So everything is gonna be like this round graduation. It's gonna go from short to long, okay? So we've only really cut the perimeter. So we're still gonna keep cutting this perimeter because we still have this top section that I clipped up back through here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this all the way down to the center portion. And I'm going to divide this and I'm gonna push this forward just so we can cut that specific line. Then we're gonna start by layering everything and really kind of bringing this whole look into its own, okay? And you can see just a little bit of hair right through here in this front portion. We have just a little bit of this hair that is kind of reaching back through here. So we're just gonna go and cut this off really, really quick. And then we can start that layering. And so just take this just like that, just following through with everything, bringing this forward. You see that line underneath or that guide underneath and just cut that right off. Cool, now we're gonna do this other side, just like this. So now we need to start layering this up. Now we're gonna take a little mohawk section here, right through here, and we can actually look and see how much of this hair right through here. And you can see this is all basically one length, right? This is all hair that's kind of been brought forward. And so now we need to take all of that away. And we don't necessarily wanna cut into this fringe area. We're gonna leave that fringe area there. So we're gonna cut from like that shortest point. And so let's start the cutting right through here. I literally just swallowed hair. Oh my gosh. So I combed it up, it landed right in my mouth. Oh my, that's amazing. That was so amazing. You guys actually just witnessed that. That was actually kind of disgusting. Anyways, it's a mannequin head. Hopefully it's cleaned. Yeah, ooh, yeah. All right, so what I normally like to do is I always like to kind of hold things towards me, right? And so as I'm starting to layer this up, I'll take a line just like so and it's gonna be right next to the line I previously cut. And so now I'm gonna take that, and you can see this is where my guide was at, just like there. And I'm just going to be cutting that off, just like that. Take another section right up through here. Stand right over on this side, the opposite side I was standing on. And the same thing, take this up. You're gonna see this is my guide underneath there. Now what we wanna do is that, now we're gonna come into this back area here. As you can see this section that I'm taking up, All right guys, so now what we wanna do is that we can already start to see that there's a lot of layer happening like right through here. We've got our perimeter line and it's still looking really super heavy. So we're gonna actually dry it and then we're gonna really kinda make it kinda come alive. Because if you don't remove weight when you're actually cutting a short shag like this, it can have a tendency to look very kind of bulbous and it can look very, very dated. And we want things to look really, really super modern. So let's go ahead and dry it. Let's do that now.
All right guys, so after you guys get done finishing it, you guys can use round brush, you can rough dry it, you know, really whatever's gonna suit you, okay? So we actually used a little bit of a Mason Pearson style brush and then a little bit of a round brush. Um, and so it is looking like, kind of like a little bit bulbous. It's not super, super bad, but really what we need to do to kind of like really get it to kind of come, come alive is that we need to add a little bit more texture to this for sure, right? Now you can go in with a razor, um, but we're actually gonna use a blunt scissor because we still want to have like more of a shape to this. Now what I'm gonna do, and I've done this in a lot of my other videos, is we're gonna go in and we're gonna start adding some texture to this. Now when I do this is I'll take my blunt scissor just like that, and then I'm gonna go in and you can see and I'm just going to cut out pieces, right? Now what that's going to do is that's almost going to, you know, we're gonna go in and we're just gonna cut out pieces just like that. You go in and we're gonna, you can see that blade on that other side, and we're just gonna cut out these openings. Now that is gonna help to really kind of soften up what is happening. And so there's gonna be more of like this actual shag coming out because then you'll have short and long right next to it. Now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna do this quite a bit throughout this whole shape, okay? Because I really just want to remove a lot of that, that straightness or that bulkiness that is happening on those ends because those ends were looking fairly solid through there and I'm going in, I'm just cutting these Vs into it. Come in and just cut out some of that hair. And of course you need to assess you know, what kind of texture you're working on, that's super important. You know, like this mannequin head has got a lot of hair, and so we can actually cut out a lot more of this. Now, if you're working, if you have very kind of fine texture to hair, you wanna do this within reason. You don't wanna like go in and remove a ton of hair if you don't have a lot of hair to remove. But if you're working on somebody that has a lot of hair, you need to go in and remove a lot of this. And as you can really kind of start to see what's happening is there's really like now there's a lot of texture coming through this top portion, which I really, really dig, you know? And again, it takes it to that very like modern, you know, what really kind of like people want now. And if you're very familiar with the Dorothy Hamill reference that I just said, you know, that was great for that time, but you're not really seeing a lot of people want that super bulbous kind of bowl cut kind of shape to it. Like you want it to be more lived in, you know, things recycle, looks recycle, trends recycle, guys. You know, there's a lot of people that like say on my channel, they're like, you know, a wolf cut, it's just basically a shag. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It really, really truly is. You know, so you have to know kind of what you're doing it on. You know, things are gonna come back with like just a different phrase to it. You know, back in the day, we just used to highlight hair. Now there's all these people, you do like a baby light. Okay, so basically it's like a highlight, um, but just a lot thinner. You know, I really, really just enjoy, you know, when I'm removing weight like this, because when you're removing weight, it's, it's, it's a feeling and it's visual, right? You know, you're kind of like visually kind of feeling, okay, that hair feels, a little thick right there. We're gonna remove a little bit more, just like that. And then visually, as you're looking at it, you're using your mirror, as you're looking at the client, or you're just looking at what you're doing, standing a little bit away. So what I wanna do now is now I'm actually gonna come in with some texturizers. They're kind of considered like a chunker, and so I'm going to just come in and just remove some of this bulk right through there. Now, as you can see, what I'm actually starting to do is I'll take a section and I'll hit it twice, just like that. Now, again, you have to assess for how much hair you're cutting, guys. And really what I'm trying to do is I'm just really trying to remove that bulk right there on those perimeter where we kind of cut that before. And so I'm really just focusing on that perimeter area because I feel that this perimeter area is still just a little bit bulky for my liking, my aesthetic, guys. Hey 
Hey guys, one of the things is that I really want you guys to pay attention to, right? Like there's a lot of cutting that I'm actually doing today because the shorter you cut somebody's hair, and especially if they have a lot of it, you really need to detail it like you wouldn't imagine. Because a lot of times when, you know, it's gonna take you a lot longer to do something like this, the hair that gets closer to the scalp, it just gets thicker and thicker and thicker, right? The further away our hair gets from the scalp, it just gets kind of thinner because it just gets more sparse. It's not that the hair is getting thinner, it's just like you have hair that kind of breaks off, you have hair that, that, that's not all the same length, whatnot. So the shorter you cut the hair, you really have to remove a lot of weight to kind of get it to kind of come together. As you are starting to kind of see in this, it's looking, it, again, we took away from that bulbous kind of look that it had, and now we're kind of bringing it into the modern world with like a lot of fun texture to it. This would essentially be a short shag, okay? Now it's gonna look very similar to, it's not necessarily a mullet, but again, like a mullet guys is gonna be like really short and then really long through here. Like if we were to take this a lot shorter and leave that length, yes, it would turn into a mullet. But with this, it still looks very feminine. This is just gonna be a short shag guys. So I am really digging kind of what's happening, but you can see there's a lot of fun movement in there. I really like how it kind of frames the face because again, that's what a shag does is it kind of frames that face. And I'm really just kind of softening up all of these lines, guys. You know, that's what is so, so important to me. Like I really like how everything is looking from that front perspective, guys. You know, you've got some of this hair that sticks out right through this area, which is really super kind of fun. You can get some fun height through here. You know, you can have that fringe. You can like really kind of bring that to the side. You know, whatever side you want to really part that on, which is kind of cool. You know, like, so let's go ahead and style this, guys. And uh, let's kind of make this come alive. Cool. And this, guys, is what is so important about, you know, adding a product that's gonna bring out that texture, okay? I'm go going to go ahead and link the product that I used. We'll go ahead and link that below. But guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. How to cut a short shag. Make sure you're actually doing the perimeter first, then you're actually gonna layer everything through that, then you're gonna dry it, then you're gonna remove a lot of weight. That is probably the most crucial portion to this, guys, because we wanna add our little signature to every person that sits in your chair, okay? Because like some people might need more texture, some people might need less, depending on the texture and the amount of hair they have. Guys, my name is Jake Thompson Hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video.